Receiving a payment on an invoice is easy. When the customer pays their invoice, come to this list and click on the Invoice Description link. This will open up the invoice in its viewing mode. Notice when I hover over the invoice, action icons appear. You can click the trash can icon to delete the invoice, or you can click edit to make a change to the invoice. But I'll just click the link to open the invoice in its viewing mode. Now that the invoice is open, click receive payments. Here is where you record the money that you receive from your customer. The customer name is already filled in. So is the deposit to bank account, since Working Point remembers the account you used last time, but you can change it. So now just complete the other fields including the payment method. If you select credit card, you can also select the type, but I'll just select check. Entering a reference number is optional, but I recommend using this field to record the check number for your records. Enter the payment amount and click save. Working Point deposits the money into the bank account you selected and updates the invoice status to paid. How easy is that? And if you record an overpayment, that is, if you receive a payment on the invoice that is greater than the balance due for the invoice, Working Point creates a credit that you can use to apply to the customer's future invoice. The Apply Credits link appears on any invoice for the customer with an available credit balance. To apply a credit, just click the link. Enter the amount of the credit you want to take and click Apply Credit. With Working Point, receiving payments and keeping your bank account and accounts receivable up to date is a cinch.